mathematics. I say that again. Magic is for the mind who doesn't understand spiritual mathematics and the alchemy that this cosmos and our bodies and our mind and our spirit operates on. And so we call it magic. And this year, we are going into the miracle working consciousness, which is above magic. When miracles are things that we know that there have been a shift and a change in us that becomes an attraction point for a shift and change in the thing that we we are praying about, the thing that we didn't see coming. So this year we are walking in our new theme of shift everything. I am a miracle of mediums. Shift everything. I am a miracle of mediums, and I am your host, LaTanya Taylor, affectionately known as the Rev Coach, the Juicy Spirit Mama, the Priestess of Purpose, Pleasure, and Passion. And so it is my honor this morning to open up the call on this full moon Sunday uh, with with, uh, the influences of Uranus squaring Mercury. We need to be um, prepared for surprises, divine surprises, and sometimes divine interruptions. And so this is why as alchemical women who are becoming the priestess of their own household, it is important for us to know this and learn and get into the the groove and the energy and the syncopation of spiritual mathematics so that when things come that you can be prepared for it and you won't be swept off your feet thinking that you have done something wrong, thinking that God is not pleased with you, thinking and believing that you have control over 
anything other than your mind and your response to the things that ha- are are already sometimes preset um, to grow us, to expand us, to sit us down sometimes and to propel us. Happy Sunday uh, to you this morning. Um, I come to you still full from the book launch. If if you were not there, you you missed an, an, an amazing event. I give thanks and praise for the love that was in the room from the, the team rebirth all the way to every person who showed up, bought tickets and didn't show up on because of the weather advisory. Those who bought tickets sent notes of love and bought books and are still continuing to get the book. Um, it totally is a, 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 a testimony of how um, the Juicy Spirit program that has been running for eight rounds was born. And so I share my story of how I had to midwife my own, myself, not not without help, um, through the the feminine and through pleasure. And so I pray that those of you who are new to the circle, that you will get your copy and get into this flow as well. In addition to that, last night, if you were watching Iyan Will Fix My Life, last, first of all, last week was my show. I can proudly say all of the exercises that you saw, the production that you saw was uh, done in with the producers. However, I'm responsible for the creative and the and the spiritual process that you see on your screen. Hallelujah! Ah, yeah, girl. Wait a minute. I'm just now getting a little excited. And then last last night was I was hoping that they opened the season with this show just that powerful. It's a two parter. Last night you would have seen the first part, and if you were watching, how many of you saw your girl? Um, I'm always there, but we don't have any control of editing. There are actually lots of times where the cameras are going in with me into the the um, room after Yama has finished working with them. I'll go in and do a little bit more coaching with them. And this year, they, um, Iyanla was very intentional to bring the cameras in. But um, the final footage is not determined by us. So um, uh, it was a trip to kind of see yourself on television. It's not the first time I've seen myself, but not um, this is the first time that I saw myself um, in my role, in my assignment. Other times I've been on television, it's been to support other people's assignments. And so I give thanks and praise and honor to the ancestors and those those guides who are assigned to cover my head, uh, living, those who are ascended, and those who are walking right next to me, um, in, including the team Rebirth, because you all are continuing to make make me more available to to this next level of assignment, which takes us right into our Sunday morning, um, which today I'm going to tell you the theme. Well, we know the theme. Um, We're going to focus on changing the filters. The lesson from A Course in Miracles says, "I today's lesson, lesson 20, um, says, I am determined to see. I want you to just take your fingers and touch your eyes right now, even if you're a little sleeping, your lids are closed, I want you to tap on your eyes. Tap on both eyes at the same time or take one finger and tap if you hold in the phone and tap them on those eyes and just say, say to yourself, I am determined to see. Okay, so those are your physical eyes. Now I want you to tap in the center of your brow, and that is your third eye because that's the real eye that is able to see. I am determined to see. Now take your hand and put your fingers in the back of your head, right kind of where there's a little dip before the nape of your neck, and just tap on that and just say, I'm determined to see. You know, when we say things like mamas have eyes in the back of the head, we're talking about another type of seeing. And so many of us use our physical eyes to determine how we interpret things, and we have perceptual filters. And so the Course in Miracles are all, for the last 19 days, 
has been laying a structure for you to say, I, I don't know what this chair is for. I don't know what this wall is for. I don't know what anything is for. I don't know what this upset, this upset that I feel is for. And so each lesson has been t taking you through a structure of detachment from what you perceive a thing to be. And, be, and so when you understand that what we perceive a thing to be oftentimes has been programmed by what we believe a thing to be. And so so belief is sight. And so and if you want to change how it is you experience what you see, you must change what you believe. But here's what I like about what the lesson says. It says we have been casual about our practice periods thus far. There has been virtually no attempt to direct the time for undertaking them. Minimal effort has been required, and not even active cooperation and interest has been asked. This approach has been intentional and very carefully planned. We have not lost sight of the crucial importance of the reversal of your thinking. The salvation of the world depends on it. Yet you will not see it if you regard yourself as being coerced and in in um, and give you into resentment and opposition. So I want to want to I want to teach that a little bit. In other words, the Quran. Yes, I go from text to text because I can, and so I want to encourage you all to. For those, we're going to move into a metaphysical Bible study that is a little bit separate from here for those who want to continue to learn. That's the first announcement. But then check this out. You want to have your tools so that when you study, the words, the Bible says study and show thy self approve. See, but when you've been programmed by churchy anity, and mosque entity and and synagogue entity, then you are showing yourself approved for the belief in a God outside of yourself. However, but when the word says study and show thyself approved, guess what happens? You begin to give yourself your own degrees. See, the world has taught us to go to school to get our degrees. But where we are as ancient people, we give ourselves degrees through the rites of passages that we go through from one level of knowledge into another. Come on now. Somebody ought to shout themselves happy because I feel happy just saying it and being a vessel on this side. you got to give yourself your own degrees. You. And how do you give yourself your own degrees? That's what we're talking about is changing the filters. Even if you thought you changed your filter through going through the rites of passage, coaching privately with me or someone else, any workshop you've done, any course you've undertaken, any herbs that you've taken, anything that you've done, what is your next level? Because there is a next level for you. There is advancement. There is another degree. And then when you meet all of the degrees, 360 degrees, guess what? You've gone full circle and you start at one again. Although the scientists say that there are other levels of the zero point. The zero point is the point of nothingness that you can reach in meditation and sometimes in prayer. But the nothingness is, a, is a, the deceptive intelligence will tell you that it's absence of absent of activity that is incorrect. The zero point is the point where all activity is born. And guess what makes you special? Those of you who are on this call is women, women who are the womb. You are the womb, not just for yourself and for what you give physical birth to, but you are representative of the cosmic womb, the zero point from which all things are born. Come on now, we're going there this year. We're going there this year. I want somebody just to just get excited so when I get ready to take you off mute that you are filled up to the overflow, that you no know one, we, we defy and we convict any of the thing of, oh, wow, this is deep. Oh, wow, I don't understand. No, no, no. Your soul brought you into this space to listen, to be available, 
to this. There's something in you, in your DNA, that has already assigned you to advance yourself, your family, to advance your household. There's something inside of you that is in your spiritual DNA that's already called you to this journey. Don't dumb down yourself. Decrees of it's too deep. No, no, no. More is required of thee to change your perceptual filters first starting with yourself. When you change your perceptual filters about yourself, you begin to change your perceptual filters about others. When you change your perceptual filters about others, then you begin to change your perceptual filters about the world. Now, let me tell you all something. I want to get up in here in this sweet spot. I want to drop something on you that's real. That's, that's really a pivot in your consciousness if you let it be. I know that the government is shut down. I know that the weather is doing a dance. I know that there's some things that are happening for you that you didn't expect. There's some upsets. There's some words just in this weekend just because of the energy. But guess what? When you look at Donald Trump, his name is Trump. Your name is your nature. It tells a little bit of the story. The Trump card, for any of you who plays cards, I don't even play cards, but my husband and I had to study this. When you have a Trump, you got a winning hand. It may look crazy. It may look like you might, you know when you have a poker face. You got to play the game. You can't read the player all the time. But your perceptual filter, if you believe that it's evil and everything is wrong, yes, change is an upset. We pray for change and God, Barack Obama, change you can believe in. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Even in this prayer call, we started with our year of yes. How many of you know that when you've been laid off of a job or when something didn't work and it caused you to go to another level? You had to access another part of yourself. In many ways, what if you started believing that you are playing with the same winning hand that Trump is playing with? That man has had many bankruptcies. He has over 100 corporations. You've got to study sometimes who's in front of you. And instead of looking at it as something to fear that has power over you, Every loss that he's had, he's took it and turned it into a win. His methods are unorthodox, but sometimes your methods are going to have to be unorthodox for you to enter into another zone of your own win. you got to change your perceptual filter. Study the trunk. Study who, who he comes from. His war, the word says, I war not with principalities. This is not even, this battle is not really ours. It's what the Lord, not the Lord of some spooky ism, the law of life. Who controls the law of life? Who is the author and the finisher of your faith? Huh? Come on now, come closer. You can't go through. CNN and MSNBC, and you can't go through their interpretation of the current events. They're not coming to tell you about the full moon energy and the influence of this energy. They're not telling you about the energy of the eclipse. Uh Uh-uh. They're not telling you about the vibration of three. Oh, the vibration of three calls for us to lighten up not just lighten up our seriousness and our worries and our anxieties, but to lighten up with our enlightenment. Come on now. There's a call to change our perceptual filters. The Course goes on to say this is our first attempt to introduce structure. 
Many of us are undisciplined and lazy in our studies. Our mental diet is much like our physical diet. Hallelujah. We, and, and so what I'm saying here is we on again, off again. You know, we, we have our guilty pleasures, the things that we indulge. But imagine if your mental diet had a new structure, a new foundation. It says do not misconstrue it as an attempt to um, exercise force or pressure. You want salvation. You want to be happy. You want peace but you do not have them now because your mind is totally undisciplined and you cannot distinguish between joy and sorrow, pleasure and pain, love and fear. You are now learning how to tell them apart and great indeed will be your reward. Come on now. Somebody say great indeed. Tap on those eyes again. Great indeed will be my award when what? when I am determined to see. Great indeed will be my reward when I'm determined to see. Can I tell y'all something real personal? Then I want y'all to do the same when I take you off mute. I want you to share something in this space where you know that your sight had to shift. Let me tell you what happened over the, over the course. Uh, let me just tell you. Let me start with my birth story. My mother said that the, when I came out of the womb, that I came with my eyes wide open. I got to say that for myself sometimes because there have been many times on this journey where there have been things that put me to sleep, and I thought that I couldn't see myself. I couldn't see people around me. But the truth is, inside I knew I was seeing. I would get confirmations of things that I could see. Ooh, it brings tears to my eyes. My mother. This is so powerful for the women who are doing this feminine work. I need you to understand that the mother is a gateway. Ooh, 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 that's good to me. This call is good, Minister Dana, for me. I'm ministering to myself. The mother is a gateway. No matter what kind of mother it is, it's a gateway to access the mother code. A part of that mother code is being able to understand who you are in devotion and service to a higher mother principle. Ooh, 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 y'all, yummy, yummy, yummy. Ooh, drip, drip, drip. And so look, for many years, people were saying, I know you just can't see you. You can't see how big you are. You can't see what you do when you come into a world. You can't see it. Then I started to finally hear it. I couldn't, I, I couldn't understand why people everywhere, people were saying the same thing. Y'all been in and out of places where people been giving you feedback about yourself, even when you didn't like it, didn't understand it. Sometimes it's your lower vibration of self. Sometimes it's your high vibration of self. And then I sort of started to surrender several years into studying and journeying and going and, and, and doing what many of you are doing. Then I started to pray in a different thing about my sight and being able to see myself and doing the work that was required. And sometimes it was the dark, dark places of myself that I had to be willing to see first just to be able to see the light of myself. The resistance to the things that you don't want to see are the things that you want to embrace the most. And so then I began to see, I began to invite other opportunities and journeys that allowed me to see more of myself and what was always there. But it started on May 22nd, 1971, when I came out of my mother's womb and she said I looked at everybody in the room so much so that the doctor was scared that my aunt and my godmothers were, they were, oh, my God, look at how that baby is looking at me. Babies don't tend to focus when they come out of the womb womb to give you a little context. And sometimes how you handle that birth is everything. 
Hmm? So many times I'd be in a place, in a position, and God would reveal something to me, and I'd say, God, why do you always want me to see this? Stuff that I wouldn't even be looking for. Pieces of of a puzzle here and there. Oh, oh, game, peeps, game. I could see. And people sometimes reacting to you because, but to me, because they knew I could see them. I had a sister tell me just this year, nope, just 2018, she said to me, she said, I was running from you because she's gifted too. And she said, I knew that you could see me, and I didn't want you to see me yet. And I said, well, why wouldn't you want me to see you, sis? She said, because I was afraid that you were going to reject me because you are a minister, and, 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 and I thought all ministers were like these folks in the church that judge you. And I didn't feel, I didn't know if I was safe, she said, but it was something you said. And she said, I knew that I was safe to be me because, again, she had to change her perceptual filters because, listen, people will react to your gifts and you'll be thinking, walking around here, thinking something is wrong with you like I did for years. Why? Why they don't like me? Why? Why do they act that way with me? I still have people who know that I can see them. Sometimes they think you're going to call bullshit on them and not that's not true. Not all the time. Now, when I was young, dumb, and full of cum, I certainly probably was was at, was calling bullshit on things out of season, and that will make anybody afraid. Come on now, some of you have been young, dumb, and full of that too. And so, yes, I said it in this sacred space because we got to keep it real in here a little bit, right? So we make some errors sometimes in our giftedness. We think that we are doing it because something's wrong with us. We're just learning how to use the gift. You see, just like when, they, when um, oh, oh, I love this story. Oh, Lord, help me. Samson. Samson was born gifted. He already was, the anointing was on him when he came through the womb. Yet Samson continued to lay his head in all the wrong laps until he had to face the darkness of himself that needed love outside of himself. And that thing that he was seeking, it cut off the very thing what that had was his power. Oh, come on now, I'm talking to you this morning. Some of you have your gifts show up in other ways, and the thing that is powerful about you, you've been trying to cut it off. Sometimes it's your sexual energy. Yeah. That's why we have Juicy Spirit. That's some of you, it is your mouth. You won't speak, but then when you do, you move heaven and earth. Some of you, it is your dance. Come on now, dance and shift the atmosphere. Some of you, it's your cooking. You can cook people into happiness and healing. Some of you, it's the mixing of herbs and aromas. Some of you, it is just being able to be the one who is flanking the other one. Come on now, that's your assignment. That's your covering. You are the uh, armor bearer in spirit. You, that's your assignment. Sometimes it's the mother, mother assignment. Sometimes it's somewhere else. Some of you are born to be the one to catch babies coming out of the womb. Yes. Your assignment, some of you right there on that good government job that's betrayed you a little bit, some of you haven't been standing in your purpose right there because you're waiting on a microphone and a stage and good marketing and branding. No, no, no. Wherever you are, you are on holy ground. Am I walking heavy this morning? I need to hurry up and take y'all off of me today. Let me close this out. The exercises today remind, consist in reminding yourself throughout the day that you want to see all day. All day remind yourself that I am determined to see. I am determined to see. Today's idea also tactically implies the recognition that you do not see now. See, you can't be a know-it-all. If you find yourself, somebody telling you something, say, I know, I know, I know. You shutting down, you closing off. No, no, no. When someone's telling you something, just say it, meditate to yourself. I'm determined to see. 
I'm determined to see. Therefore, as you repeat the idea, you are stating that you are determined to change your present state for a better one and one you really want. Repeat today's idea slowly and positively at least twice an hour a day. Do not be distressed if you forget to do so, but make a realist effort to remember. The extra repetition should be applied to any situation, person, or event that upsets you. You can see them differently, and you will. What you desire, you will see. Such is the real cause of effect as it operates in this world. That's good to me. So this is a good good segue to open the call this morning. If I can find out, find a way to do it, Lord, help me. In my technology, I had a spontaneous invitation, and so I'm out. Um What I'm doing right now, beloved, is attempting to take you off of mute. Bear with me. I'm coming. Here we go. Right. I'm taking everyone off mute this morning. This re. You want to share this replay. You want to do this. I, I just I give thanks for even being a vessel this morning. I give thanks. I pray that this has landed in your spirit, that you felt your belly jump. We become Mary and Elizabeth, Elizabeth in this space. What, what that means is when Mary and Elizabeth met up, before they even announced their pregnancies to one another, their spirit leaped, the baby inside of them leaped. And so we become Mary and Elizabeth once in this space together as we share. The call is now open um, for you to share any of what made your belly leap this morning. Good morning. Well, happy rising. Happy Sunday. Yes, indeed. Happy rising to you. <laughs> Good. No morning here. Uh, <laughs> no morning here. Um, one of the things that um, you talked about when you were born, how you, you were born with your eyes wide open. And um, my mom said that when I was born, I cried for six months straight, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Just I felt like, and when I look back now, I think, I must have known that, uh, wh- I mean, I only know why I was here. And then she said after I cried for six months between probably before I started school, um, she just said I would just sit for hours by myself and and just, I would just play. I almost think now I was in a, some kind of meditative state to the point that my grandmother had, I remember her saying something is just not normal, something is wrong with that child. And before she passed, she said, I didn't mean something was wrong with you. I meant that that was just not normal. That's not. And now that I look back and the insight and the gifts and the things that I experienced, I feel like God was preparing me for this time in my life when through all the trauma and all the things that I went through that I was caught, that my gift has to deal with healing the suffering of the in this time and space by healing my own suffering. And so mm. um, it has been meeting you was so much in divine order because I had not understood it, but the more that I, I went through this, the healing and all the things, it's starting to all make so much sense. And you, And at this point in my life, embracing the gift, even so to the point that I'm understanding about generational, it's time to start healing generational suffering and mm, the experience it, that it. I had with my own children. Um, mm-hmm. that, um, and so I'm not trying to, like, um, that's, I'm not trying to, like, put nothing out there in the sense of advertising, but 
that has given put upon my heart and given so then me, don't do I'll it. Do. So then okay. don't do it. So, <laughs> okay, so then don't do. Okay, so then stay you know, in so your testimony. Things, so, <laughs> yes, stay in my. Okay, so then you know, um, good thing, good. Um, I received so yeah in this space to to be you know just um that's a gift that I will be moving in in terms of where God is placing me that I understand now that all the suffering and all the things that I went through has never been in vain. It's been um it's been for purpose, it's been for a reason. It's helped me to understand. So I just wanted to say in that and the fact that you talked about we're all on um everything, even in our job is holy ground. And I hadn't quite looked at it like that. But everywhere we are, we have to remember that it's all sacred. Gosh, yeah. And so gosh, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yes, I, I thank you for bringing that out, Tressa. I want to say that again and echo that many times. I, I remember when one of my ministry sisters said, many times we are cursing our present moment. And that's what we do on the jobs that we're in. When you keep on, you make the job your curse instead of your blessing. And oftentimes it is a it is a gateway. Either you're going to walk out of it or you're going to walk into it. And that is many of us are on assignment right where we are, but we keep on waiting for somebody to approve us. And, and oftentimes the field that God has assigned us to is where we are right now. Mm-hmm. Not somewhere we're yeah. trying to get to. Mm-hmm. And if you can't show up where you are right now, what's stopping you? you we may want to change our perceptual filter. I'm telling you, it worked for me. Louise Hay talks about being able to go into a job and bless the space. Marianne Williamson talks about going into a job. I went to a job. I was tortured on this job. I had never been tortured on a job before. I mean tortured. And I started to, I said, wait a minute. I know I am a metaphysician. I create my reality. And in this, what felt so unsacred and stressful and that I needed to get out of, I knew that if I did not learn the lesson, just like a marriage or a relationship, I would take it into the next marriage or relationship in all work assignment. And I started to walk down the halls, and, and I am the miracle. I'm the sh- atmosphere shifter. And I started to bless the halls and bless the chair. See, that's what the Course is saying. This chair does not – I don't know what this chair is for. I don't know what this wall is for. I don't know what this, this supervisor is for. I don't know what this desk is for. I don't know what this file, this case is for. I don't know what anything is for, but we attach meaning to everything, and we and the the miracle work in consciousness is to be able to detach meaning from it, and get and eventually you give it new meaning, and then you'll be moved. That is the feminine that kicks in, where you're not trying to force a move. The move happens, and you it's like playing chess, baby, not checkers. Y'all know chess is different. It moves different than than checkers. Checkers, you hopping all around the board. But chess, you study the board and you move mm-hmm. strategically. Oh, that ought to be good to somebody. If I had an organ, <laughs> we'd be playing some praise dance music. Somebody ought to be happy right now. Because something, I just said a little something that could set you free from yourself, <laughs> from yourself and your own thoughts. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Chester. See? See Mary and Elizabeth working right here. See how Mary and Elizabeth work together. <laughs> yeah, I say, I say. Anyone else had something in your spirit, Lee? Grand rising goddesses, this is Yvonne Foy calling in, and, and I'm telling you, uh, Sister Tanya, you are so on the pulse. I came out of 2019. Uh, I'm, ooh, I'm right. I really jumped forward. I came out of 2018 
cleansing or a better word is decalcifying my pineal gland. Which yes, is the come on with that. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Now, now, I'm not going to stay long. I'm not going to stay long because I, I respect everything coming through from each and every goddess on this line this morning. But that is the most powerful thing we as women should ultimately be doing because it just reverberates the energy and the power that was instilled in us even before the sperm met the egg, okay? And the fact that it took 500,000 uh, 500,000 eggs swam to meet that sperm, okay, we were chosen. I mean, we were, that's what made us who we are today, is that we beat 500,000 other eggs to crash into that sperm, okay? Uh, we are not here by accident or happenstance. And with that being said, this is so juicy. This is so juicy. I, you know, I, I'm dripping, and I, I can't even. I can't even keep up. Okay. But what was brought forth this morning? It just it, it just made me jump. I, I leaped, and I had to be sure that I had. Uh, my mute button on, otherwise I may have been asked to be dismissed, okay? (laughs) You identified coming here with your eyes open. And I think if we each stop and can meditate long enough, we can come into perfect understanding how each of us came here. Okay, whether our eyes, our physical eyes were open because our senses was open and aware before we could take that first Yelp, okay, the Yelp comes before the Yale, okay. I vividly recall my mother always saying to me, You know, you were my best baby, and I'm one of nine. I'm the fifth child of nine. She said, you were were the best baby, but you were the worst child, okay? But I can vividly recall at two years old being aware of so much that I was almost dismissed, but when I came out, And that might have been at four. I've never stopped, okay? To this day, my family, those who know me can comfortably say, you know, she's from another planet. But that whole saying stems around Mm -hmm. the fact that my awareness and my passion Mm -hmm. for wanting to be open and aware and after the decalcifying, which I think there's still some processes taking place of my pineal gland, it's almost like I can I can almost fear where where I'm headed because of the power of knowing who I believed I was even before the decalcification. Now this I'm not going to stay much longer, but I want to thank you. Okay, I want to thank you for who you are, and my my love and prayers was with you during the book signing. I, I was not capable of being there coming out of Pittsburgh, okay, but I was there in spirit and in truth, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I knew before before it could jump off, okay, I knew it was going to be highly successful because of who you are, because of who Dana is, because of who Tommy is, and because of who all the other juicy butterflies (laughs) and goddesses are in the space. 
On that, I'm going to uh, initially just know that each and every one of you, you're in my my prayers as we move forth yet another week uh, in this new year, being the most powerful souls we were ordained to be coming out of 2018. And one final thing. What you spoke of regarding the government, your finger is on the pulse. It's far more than people who want to sit down and be absorbed by CNN, NBC, NSNBC, all of that. They aren't even close to telling people the real story. The real deal is so powerful, okay? that at the end of the day, powers that, that we have, if, if, if we can only open ourselves up to understanding that you, we are being bamboozled by allowing the media to constantly fuel us with what they want us to know. But what's really happening behind the scenes we are we are already okay. We are already okay. What's going on has to take place for us to get to the next level. But it's far more than what people are hearing. Far more. Okay. That being said, I I I need to let the other uh, precious goddesses speak this morning. Pass to your sister. Just pass it to your sister. So. <laughs> All right. Yes, indeed. And so now we pass to our sister. Who's next? Anyone else have a belly leap? Okay. Uh, This is Dana. Good morning. Um, When you talked about how you were born, with your eyes wide open, my belly leaped a little bit because I remember that I was born breech. Come and on they now. Said, seat first. I almost <laughs> seat seat first, yeah. In a seated <laughs> position. Oh. Okay, yeah. And they said I almost split my mother open. Mm. She was not awake. She had to be put to sleep when mm. I was born. They said mm. she didn't see me until she woke up later. So just knowing how you enter this realm, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. feet on the ground, ready to, you know, mm-hmm. get running. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But knowing that you could come in so forcefully that you could split a person open, mm-hmm. whew, it changes your perception. Your passcode, then press pound. Continue. Hello? Okay. Continue. Don't just ignore distractions. Just it another distraction. Your just like the universe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It changes your perception of how you enter the world and even how you mm-hmm. move on a daily basis, growing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and going. Mm-hmm. My mother is one of the strongest women that I know. And some of the things that she's been through and seen in life, And just growing up, coming through that womb, feet first, even Mm -hmm. knowing she survived me. (laughs) She survived me entering through her. She could have died. You know, now we go through C-sections if a child is breached. My daughter, my seed, coming through me was breached. I had a C-section. Mm. I was split open strategically. Mm. My mm-hmm. mother was not. So just knowing that perception, that change, that view of even how I entered the world forcefully, determined to get through, feet first, feet hitting the ground, running. <laughs> now... 
I can grow even more to know when to stand. Hmm. I still sleep in a fetal position today, most nights. But then I know even when I have to stretch my body out, thing inside of me. And even shifting this year in 2019 to stand upright and know the powers that are seated in me, it's a stretch. Um, <clears throat> I give thanks for the cosmic womb, as you spoke about earlier, that zero point. Um, and I give thanks just for all that you do, Reverend Coach. <laughs> um, I give thanks for every sister that's on this call and that has to change their filters just to see. You know, anyone can say mm-hmm. they see a miracle, but it's when you change your filters that you really see mm-hmm. a, mil- uh, a miracle happen. Mm -hmm. And I give thanks for everything that's going on around day by day. Ashe. 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 Thank you so much. I am very, um, while you were speaking, um, uh, if I say, Mother, may I? (laughs) I I got a a word from you, for you, from you. (laughs) May I? May I share it with you? Ashe. Yes, please. Um, I heard that you. It is time for you to not be afraid of that power. Make peace. With it. Make peace with I the say. parts of your journey where you have been afraid of that power of how you came in the world. Mm. Our birth stories mm. are everything, and so. Mm. Yes, your mother could have died, but tell the story that your mother lived through it. Your birth. Mm. That's mm-hmm. the shift. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. instead of te- because every time you tell the story mm-hmm. that my mother could have died, then there's it. Then if you live your life with that story, then that you will find yourself being afraid to fully come all the way in to your power, but come okay. all the way into it, knowing that your mother lived. Because why you said she's the strongest woman that you know. So, I say. I say. I am determined to see. I say. I'm I say. determined to see. I say. That's the shift I had I to say. make as well. When I was born, the story was my head, my size was so big when I came through that I could have. I was. I was almost about to split my mother in two, and that mm-hmm. I that that she nearly died on the table having me, and so so now I get to reframe that story because because no one will be hurt or harm coming into my gift, into my power, into my presence. And that yes. has helped in terms of how I stand in my anointing, not afraid that people will be afraid of me. <laughs> mm. All right. All right, y'all. Anyone else just spilling over? I want one of the I quiet say. ones who is sitting there, one of the ones who tend to be a little quiet. I'm calling you forth this morning because in order for you to be able to be determined to see, sometimes you got to say what you see, see in yourself, see in around you, see what the call is. And so I'm calling you in 2019 not to just come in and take from the space, but give to the space and watch it come back to you, pressed down, shaken up, and running over. So so those of you who ease in and just take from it, show up differently in the spaces that you enter into. Don't just come into spaces so that you can get what you need and then you're gone. No, no, no. Come into the space to be fully present, fully participating, fully available so that your voice, your presence, your power matters. Mm-hmm. And many yeah, of you yeah. who are quiet, you you struggle with being seen and being heard. But when God gives you small opportunities, you won't show up for yourself. Huh? Come on now. You, you've got to be a good steward over the small thing so that you can be assigned to greater things. 
Come on now. I'm talking to somebody that's praying for your territory to be expanded, but you want to play small. You can't play small and call your mm-hmm. and, and ask for your territory to be expanded. Mm-hmm. So I'm talking to who is that I'm talking yes, to this yes, morning? Yes, yes. Yes. Who am I talking, talking to? to me. I want you to You're out yourself. To okay, who's me? Out. Who's me? Sandy. What's your name? Sandy. All right now. Come on now, Sandy. <laughs> Yes. Oh, Who else am I talking to? You, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's somebody yes. else. Who else am I talking to? Say your name. <laughs> that's that's enough. Say your say your name. Say your name. <laughs> say my name. <laughs> say, my name. <laughs> say my name. Who else am I talking to? Say your name. <laughs> All right, now. <ma'am. laughs> I'm just grateful and thankful. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Chills all over my body. <laughs> Chills all over my body. Ooh. Oh. I'm just, I got so much to say, but I, I just can't even get it all together. And a lot of times that's why I'm quiet because there's so much that you, when you're speaking, you're speaking so much that it just, my whole body be vibrating sometimes. So I just want to thank you, thank you. I just give thanks to all the women in the circle. Uh, I, I'm so sorry that I missed the ceremony because I wanted to be there, but my mom got and uh, that's my heart, my my queen, and I had to be there with her, even though she told me go because those are your women go, but I I just. You know, I had my spirit, I was battling with my spirit, and I didn't know what to do, so I just stood still. And as I was, I proceeded on, because my husband mm-hmm. said he would pick her up, and I proceeded on. And uh, Is that what you want to say, <laughs> beloved? Is that really what you what, what you want to say? You're giving me an explanation, a justification that is mm-hmm. not even necessary. I know you love me. Yes. I know you were there in spirit. What did you, what caused your belly to leak? When you spoke on your eyes being open when you were born, when my granddaughter was born, I was in the room. And when she came into the room, I mean into the mm-hmm. room, her eyes were right on me as if it was like a beam of light. And I've always told her that she was special and she had special gifts. And we together had to work that gift. And, you know, she's been out there in the world through the spirit of God and my prayers and me just asking God to bring her to herself and to put mm-hmm. someone in her life. All the things I've asked her for, it has happened. And now she's mm-hmm. at home and she's getting her life in order. And I just thank God. I'm so thankful. So it's so mm-hmm. many things that I, I have said. asked for that I have received. Yeah. I have yeah. received. Yeah. And I, I just speak some things and it just comes. It yeah, happens. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know my powers, but I'm scared of them sometimes. Yes, 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 yes. I shiver sometimes. (laughs) And I know I'm the person in my family to make a change, and I'm doing my best to change. I know I need help to find out how to do it right. Mm. I'm just thankful. I'm Mm. so thankful because I know I have a lot of power. Mm. I don't want to use it wrong. I don't want to use my power wrong. I want to do it right. Let that go. Let that go. Let 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 go of right and wrong, because those mm-hmm. are prisons. Right and wrong are uh-huh. prisons, and you will find uh-huh. yourself incarcerated by by the, by the attempt to go between those two prisons. One one cell uh-huh. after another. Right is a cell, and wrong is a cell. Give yourself okay. permission to to to. Be determined to see free. Ha! Huh. How about that? Free yes. is your word. Yes. Uh-huh. I'm, I yes. am determined to see freedom. What does that look like? Because then you'll stop giving a damn about right or wrong, and you, and the real you will show up, mm-hmm. and you won't come That's into uh, when God mm-hmm. has put something in you to say with a qualifier about something that don't have anything that God put in you to say. <laughs> so just oh, so right. no, there's no right okay. or wrong. Okay. Those are illusions created by man. 
All right. So. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We needed that. That we needed that. And that's why some of you didn't say your name because you're still trying to do it right or wrong. All right? You don't know if you see, might say it right or you might say it wrong. Damn it, just say it. Mm-hmm. Set yourself All free. Right. If it comes out yes. stuttering, Moses was a stutterer. And Moses was the <laughs> one who set the captive slave free. Moses did not read or write well. But he, they gave Moses a Joshua. And some of you mm-hmm. who are worried about how you stutter and how you Stammer. You ought to just come mm. out and say, I, 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 if you got to speak in tongues until you can find your right Ooh, tongue, you got to find hallelujah. your way to speak yourself yes, free. Yes. Come on now. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, <sighs> oh, yeah. let's, get, you. let's get ready to pray. So just place your hands on your eyes this morning because somebody prayed for you like Sandy prayed for her grandchild. Some of you had a praying grandmother, and you might not even mm-hmm. know all of your grandmother's prayers. But begin to speak those mothers who are on the other side. Speak their names mm-hmm. into this space. Sarah Bolden, Jolie Joseph White, e. Taylor, Mary Jackson, Lorraine Bain, Gail Foy, Ashe, Ashe, I'm determined to see. Ashe, I'm determined to see. Ashe. I am determined to see. I shall. 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 Priscilla Noble Nash. I get that in your spirit. I shall. I shall. I am determined to see. I am determined to see. I'm determined to see. Touch your eyes, Bill. Tell your eyes. I'm determined to see. I'm determined to see. I'm determined to see. I'm determined. I say, speak their name. Speak their name. I say, I say, I say. I say, I say, I say. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit, all that is, all that ever will be. I thank you for using your word. You said, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Mm, mm, mm. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for those of us who are the answers to the prayers of our grandmothers and our great grandmothers mm-hmm. and our great great grandmothers and the and our cosmic mother. We thank you for those who are saying yes today to show up in a different way, determined to see. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for those of us who have had power that we have been afraid of, that we make peace with changing our perceptual filter about who we have been and who people have said that we are. And the word says, says, who do do you say I am? (laughs) And so today we connect with the I am that I am in this space today. And we thank you that the I am consciousness is the miracle working consciousness operating in our life, in our family, in our finances, in our affairs today, right here and right now. And today we pronounce over ourselves that I am determined to see holy ground wherever I stand. I am determined to see abundance where I saw lack. I am determined to see opportunity where I saw limitation. I am determined to see forgiveness where there has been resentment. I am determined to see promotion where I have felt stagnant. I am determined to see healing where I have been sick or someone else has been sick. I I am determined to see wholeness where there has been brokenness. I am determined to see wealth and infrastructure of commerce. I am determined to see myself playing with the Trump hand. I am determined to see myself as a winner and not a loser. I am determined to see my children free and to to be on their journey. I am determined to see the God in myself and others. I am determined to see, I am determined to see bliss. Instead of this, yeah. I'm determined yeah. to see grace. I'm determined to see. I'm determined. I'm determined. I am. I am. I am. Yes. 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 Mm. 
So let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable. Let the words that I have sent forth not return to me void. Let them accomplish that which I have sent them forth to do easily and effortless. Press down, shaken yes. up and running over into the oh. lives of my sisters and all that are connected to my sisters oh. and myself. Mm-hmm. I know right now that I am not my sister's keeper, but I am she. Everything that is happening that is good for one is good for the other. And yes. we touch and agree in spirit and in truth, saying yes and ashe. Yes, ashe. Yes, yes and ashe. Ashe. Mm-hmm. Happy full moon today. Thank Be you. mindful today of your words. Be mindful of how you travel. Be mindful of mm-hmm. your use of electronics today. Uh, Mercury mm-hmm. is in Uranus, so that or Uranus, that means that that energy is a one of sudden surprises. Be very, mm-hmm. program your day. Be, be slow to to jump into the automatic responses today. And I will mm-hmm. post a little something on this full moon energy um, because it is a full. It, it there the weather has changed and there's already. So many different things that are shifting. Also, um, look out for an email from me um, regarding some changes. We're going to shift a little bit, shift everything for uh, for Rebirth Sunday. Um, stay tuned for all of that, those announcements, and we want you to be a part of it. Um, if you haven't gotten your book, My Juicy, My, My Juicy Rebirth, please, please support your sister can get in this, this juicy space. And the Juicy You is now open for early bird registration, 30 days living in your sweet spot. Those of you who are on super on this Sunday call, go to juicylive.eventbrite.com. You will see the offer for the early bird um, available. Please take advantage of being a part of this space and get the early bird discount. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Have a wonderful day. Ashe, I love you. Ashe, I love you all. Love you.